Hola, mi amigos. Mi nombre es Austin, and you are watching The Daily Drift. Okay, so, today my plan is to raise up my intercooler on my Miata because it's been sitting a little low. I bought it, or not bought it, I installed it, and I was in a rush, so I like didn't care where it was mounted to. It's sitting probably about like a fist off the ground, maybe a little less. So I really need to fix that. I'm going to go to Lowe's right now. I'm going to go pick up some like metal, make a custom bracket, and hopefully that will solve my problem. Because right now I'm dragging some of the intercooler piping on the ground because of how it's routed too. So I really need to fix that as well. I guess I'm going to just start my day right now. Vamonos, mi amigos! So I got a hat on because I think my hair looks like complete sh dookie today. And uh, yeah, so now I got my normal hat on. Not the sombrero, I'm not gonna rock it on the way to the store. But it's all good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, now you can't hear it. Oh well. All about that stock life. All right, got my shit in here. So I got some like self tappers. Got like four different kinds of brackets in there, just to see what works. And then I also got some flat stock. You can kind of see right there that uh, I'm gonna try to put on the car. Try to make a little bracket out for my intercooler. So now it's time to go home, and I need some coffee. I didn't drink any coffee today yet. So time to go home, go drink some coffee, then work on the car. All right, so you can kind of see where it was mounted before. Uh, kind of crappy, honestly. I don't know why I was thinking. I guess I was like, ah, I'll just make it work, you know, and then I'll fix it later. But yeah, that's not gonna work now. So I'm gonna undo these, take it off, and then take off those old mounts, and then uh, remount it further back and further up. There's always that. Alright. Is that okay? Good. Well now. Now it's time to go up top. Okay, so what we have here is this is my hood latch. Normally goes like like so. Okay, normally goes like that. So I take it off. What I'm gonna do? Where are they at? Right down here. Take these L brackets. First, I'm gonna have to cut it right to about there so that I don't have all this excess. So once it's in there, we can't really tell. Anyways, you know what I mean. It's gonna hook up through the same hole on both sides. Drop down. Then. I have a piece of flat stock, uh, I think it's inside, anyways, so it's going to drop down and I'm going to have a piece of flat stock that goes across, drill a hole in it, and then that's where the intercooler holes are going to attach to. Let's try that. Let's do it. Still a little sharp, but I just need to go check to see if this is uh, the right length or not. This may actually work. Stupid. Oh my god, that hurt. Oh, it's hot. Alright, alright. Uh, man. Good 
enough. Still kind of burns a little. All right, so I let this thing cool down just a little bit more, and uh, now I can actually handle it fine. So I'm gonna see how low this will go and see if it will work for my intercooler. Because I don't want it to be sitting too high because then my higher steering lines will get in the way. So when I talk about my power steering lines getting in the way, you can see them down here, right here, and also right down here. I pulled these back a little bit. These ones I might need to pull up somewhat just so that I can get my air cooler piping around. I think I'm gonna have to go with option two. All right, so new method. These are a little longer. They're probably about six inches rather than the other one being like four inches. So I'm gonna take this, an L bracket, chop off the excess. That's gonna sit down here and right, get behind it. There we go. So now I can adjust it to be there or it can be there wherever I wish. And then that is what's gonna hold on the flat stock, that piece of metal right there that I have to cut to shape. And then that flat stock will hold on to the intercooler by its top two. Where are they at? There we go. And that should work. Let's do it. Cool. So, found out where I want it. Now it's time to do it. So now this is going to be how I measure where I need to cut and where I need to drill. So as you can tell, I marked this. I got this in the center as much as I could. You could also mark it. That way you know where the center is, but I'm not a super perfectionist with this car. So, looks like I need to go this way a little more. Okay, now I'm going to put something on the bottom of these, like RTV, where the actual nuts are. And then I'm going to check once I, I'll place it on the RTV, take it off, and then that will leave a mark and tell me exactly where I need to drill. And then I'm also going to just mark off the edges where I need to cut the excess off. Alright, here's how we're going to do this. We're going to take the gasket sealer and we're going to put it on the nuts and you'll see how this works. Dab right there. Put it right there. All right. And boom. Now you can see where you need to drill. My favorite kind of hearing and eye protection. And that right there is the piece we need. I think it worked pretty well. All right, so now I got all my holes drilled. Now I just need to mount the intercooler to these and I need to mount the mount on the hood release onto this and then we should be golden. All right, so I got it all mounted up finally. Um, you can kind of see from here what it looks like. So you can tell it's clearing the power steering lines down there. We got it mounted up here. It's, it's a little wobbly, but not terrible. It's because this is flexing and it's not super strong, so maybe I need to reinforce that a little bit. Comes down here, oh, oh, come on, stop swinging, there you go. All right, so now, as you can tell, I'm gonna have to reroute the pipes. So, gotta get that one a little higher, and especially this one, because that is just too low. So now I'm gonna just work on that. And let's see where this goes. I'm super happy though with the results right now way better than it being super low. It makes me feel a lot better and a lot more peace of mind, especially when we're drifting. So let's get this fixed. All right. After working really hard trying to figure out what to do, I think I got it. So let me show you what I'm at now. Okay, so here we go. We have the left-hand side, the passenger side, coming straight down from where it was before, coming into the intercooler. It's a little cockeyed now that I think it, now I see it. I'm gonna have to fix that. Anyways, come over here, and we got it going up and around. 
and through where it should be. Get down here. Pardon the shaky camera. Go in here and up into the turbo. So hopefully everything will work out much better now. I don't have to worry about scraping. Everything is good and I am ready to go take this out sometime and go test it again. But it should run fine. I'm excited. So long day's work. Took me way too long to do this, but it's all good. And just remember, no matter how stressful working on cars can be, always keep drifting fun. Well, there you have it. Got the intercooler mounted where it should be. Got the intercooler pipes where they should be. All raised off the ground, not anywhere near it. Uh, I'm gonna still order a coupler for that, um, the one in here that is at the wrong angle and looks like it might rip later on down the road, just to be safe. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We could always use some subscribers in there. I'd like to think that uh, we're a little entertaining, but if not, please tell us what we're doing wrong. And um, we're always open to suggestions. And just remember, keep drifting fun, but keep working on cars even more fun.